to do the crime, old enough to do the time. The family of Linda Fricke is doubling down on their quest for justice, and that's their message for the four teens accused in the violent carjacking death of their loved one. WDSU reporter Ariel Brimfield live in Mid City after attending a memorial on the one year anniversary of Fricke's death. Ariel. Well, you guys, the family are as passionate and determined as ever to get justice for Linda Fricke. They tell me the fight is not over. A wound left unhealed. Do relive it, and um, every time it's it's tough. And to be act, to be honest, I will rewatch the videos just so I, when I go to court, I know what they did. On the one year anniversary, Jenny Lynn Griffin says it feels like just yesterday her sister, 73 year old Linda Fricky, was killed. We want Linda to get the justice she deserves. Um, you know it. It's just a long, it's a long road, but we're going to get justice. Wearing justice for Linda shirts, family and friends remembered Freaky at her gravesite, honoring her past as a generous and loving woman and her future as a heroine of justice against juvenile crimes. I told Linda, everyone will know your name. Three teens accused of beating and carjacking Freaky in Mid-City a year ago are set to stand trial next month. On Monday, the 14th, Lenaira Theophil was ruled incompetent to stand trial due to depressive symptoms. Kind of disturbing that she, she did that because she was in the front seat. She was the girl who opened the door with the guy, pushed on Linda to push her out. She turned him away from the traffic. She knew what was going on. Griffin says her family does not consider the accused teens innocent children and says they should be held responsible. 15, 16 years old, you can drive a car, you can have kids. Ooh, you're an adult. Correct. And you should be charged as one. Right. I'm told 73 year old Fricky would have gave her car willingly, a testament to her character. She knew she loved everyone. She now knows that everyone loves her. And the family also wanted to express their gratitude for the outpouring of love, support and donations they received during this difficult time. Reporting from Mid-City, I'm Arielle Brumfield, WDSU News. Arielle.